trivia. You're not a good trivia person? No. Educate me. What? Educate me. Or you gonna, I thought you were figuring something out. Yeah. Well, um, you're not doing a video, are you? <laughs> no, of course not. I'm not videoing you. I am. Holy crap, it's bright. Water. That is just incredible, huh? Blue is blue. Did you have polarized sunglasses? Uh, not, not on me. Oh. So tell me what to do. was to follow submarines and help rescue submariners and resupply the suit with those submarines and stuff they needed.
quite frustrating. Well, Sunny earning her keep. Yeah. Critical. It's the only way I can afford to pay for that. <laughs> Get a job. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of face there, huh? <laughs> All right, for our second dive today, shallow dive, we brought you to Queen's Throne. Now, this is the Queen's Land, and yes, I am talking about the English Queen and um, the Queen. Queensland and uh, it's called the Queen's Throne because we are attached to a little bit of a mini wall that kind of slopes down. And just forward of the boat there's two coral figures that stick out and they kind of sit like that and so the idea is somebody decided that it looked like the Queen's Throne. I'll show you guys the Queen's Throne and then you guys can tell me if you see it. I don't really see it. Is it a task? <laughs> I don't really see it. If you got a really good imagination, then if you squint your eyes and tilt your head, uh, maybe. But yeah, so Queen's Throne, that's why it's called, that's where you got the name from. Uh, anyways, dive site speaks for itself, very, very pretty. Uh, what we have is that mini sloping wall that we're attached to, so just underneath the boat, you'll notice it kind of slopes down a little gradient. Um, so we got the hard pan over here that drops down. Hard pan's roughly about 30 feet, 35 feet, and it slopes down and it hits a nice big sandy rubbly area, and then you got these coral fingers that stretch out towards the wall. Okay, so we're attached to the top of that hard pan, it drops down, slopes down into the uh, sand and the rubble, and that drops down to about 55 feet. Okay, top of these coral fingers, some of them can be as shallow as 40, 45 feet, so it's perfect for our second dive, because we're already done here's deep dive. We'll have a maximum depth of this one on 60 feet. Um, we will probably go and check out the wall. As you can see, there's a mooring just right over there. Uh, just forward the boat. Very, very close. So we'll probably actually head over there, have a little peek over the wall. Please make sure you don't throw over the wall. Okay, we're going to keep that 60 foot maximum. The, do the top of the wall here is roughly about 55, 60 feet. So it's very easy if you just stay right on the edge. All right, but when we are peeking over the wall, look up, look down, look all around. Anything might be cruising by. Slappy stuff, all slappy stuff. <laughs> Um, we'll cruise along the wall about five or seven minutes, then we'll turn around, pick a coral finger, and follow about all the way back up to this mini wall, and then just follow the mini wall back. So it's basically like a big square. Nice and easy. Uh, I will be checking your air, just like Carl was on the first dive. Please let me know um, what you've got in thousands, first and hundreds. If you get down to 1500, we'll turn around together as a group, and I'll start working your way back towards the uh, mooring. Uh, same buddies as before. You guys are in your buddy team. If you see with me <laughs> uh, and we'll hang out down there together and once you start getting uh, into your buddy teams at the morning line 1000 psi when the first person your buddy team gets 700 psi start working your way up obviously with you four I'll start sending you guys up uh, as your air gets closer we'll shoot for a 60 minute dive completely up to you guys as long as you got time uh, that's on your computers. Please keep an eye on them because you have already had a deep drive. Majority of this dive will be uh, anywhere in between 50 and 60 feet. So if you've got a more conservative computer, just keep an eye on that deco. If it does start to get low, just come up shallow up a little bit above the group. 
when we hit that mini wall again, you'll be able to hang out at 35 feet and no problem. Right, that's it. 60 feet, 60 minutes. Pool's open. Another slum dinner. Doing it. As long as the tank's not slopping around, so what's what's going to happen is get, get your uh, chest strap, trying to get it above your chest. It's there you go. Your breasts. Yeah. Your breasts. Chest breasts. And you're going to loosen that up a little bit. Well, you can do whatever you want, but <laughs> just work for some cleavage. <laughs> it's going to do a upward. It's going to do an upward or downward cleavage. So you're yeah. going to get one way or the other. But <laughs> we try to go with the upward. But is that good? Yeah, that looks like that'll work. That's better. Right. That's the best Loose one. It a little bit looser. You yeah. can loosen yeah, that sure. up. Once you get in the water, use it. <laughs> I got my clothes on, my bra. I'm telling you. Yeah.
um, you'll have one spear, one container between the two of you, so figure out how you guys want to work it. Oh, they are going to? Yeah, we're going to give them one. Uh, do you guys think you can handle it? We'll try. I do. Um, we'll get stuck. Yeah. What do you mean stuck? By the... Uh, oh, by yeah. The... So, let's say, what happens if I do? What happens? You're going to scream and cry like a little girl, and you're going to want to come to the top. You're going to want to surface. And? You can't just surface. You have to still do your safety stuff. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, we're good there. What's a Hawaiian sling? No. <laughs> All right. Um, it might be something I'm familiar with, just not by that name, maybe? So basically, it's a sphere. And what you want to do is basically you have your hand in it. Right. Have it, pull it. Oh, I see. Release it. All right. Okay. Um, make sure when you hit the fish that you hit the fish in the... In the neck area, if you're, you're trying to do is incapacitate it. Um, you don't want to mess up all the flesh. Right. Um, you don't want to, uh, well, you don't want to mess up all the flesh, but you want to incapacitate it so you don't have like a two pound freaking crazy cat on the end of a freaking stick. They're, like they're that, that aggressive? That, that well, strong? Uh, yeah, if it's they're not in, dead, they're yeah. strong. They're strong. So, the main uh, thing is, is that you want to get it and you want to put it head first into the container. If you want to watch Maria hit a couple of them before you give it a try, it'd probably be best to have been um, For long, he won't be. Man, that was a good one. Lionfish Hall. Puppy. Come through Cayman and find a traffic jam. Got low battery. Safety oh. now. Thank you. 